All right, it's time for another video. Today I'm taking a look at my um, wild guppies that I keep in this pond over here. Let's take a closer look. Uh, I've caught these a while back, maybe about a year or so ago, maybe two years. And I've just been keeping them in this tub, just colony breeding for a long time. But uh, let me catch some out and let's take a closer look. All right, here's a closer look at the wild guppies here. Pretty interesting. There's a few of them that kind of have a like a tiger pattern on their body, but a lot of them, most of them are just kind of like that um, that pinkish, yellowish um, spots on the body. But I've just been colony breeding these for a good year or so, letting them go. Pretty interesting to see what um, guppies look like in the wild with no intervention from human beings other than that I do feed them um, flakes and stuff not sure if you guys can see this but there's tons of fry in this tub here these are uh, daisy's rice fish fry And now I know you can actually colony breed these. Um, I guess if they have enough room and enough food, the parents won't eat the fry. So that's good to know. I would say there's probably at least uh, 30 of these that I can see in here. Pretty soon. I have a bunch. Now these platinum rice fish, I haven't had as much luck. Um, I've seen a female with carrying a bunch of eggs, um, but I haven't seen fry in this tub yet, which probably means that they're either, either eating the eggs and or the fry. I think probably this white color um, just looks a little bit too tasty for the parents maybe. So I think I'm going to start um, pulling eggs if I ever find her holding again. I, I might just fish her out and um, collect the eggs straight from her. Because um, I've been checking that spawning mop and I haven't found eggs in there either. So I'm still working on these. Alright, these are the orange um, rice fish. And this tub is pretty successful as well. There's a bunch of fry in this tub. As you can see, um, they used to be super small, but they're growing up a lot. I don't see any more really, really small ones anymore. <clears throat> I'm starting to wonder if um, maybe these juveniles are maybe picking off the really small fry um, because this spawning mop is constantly full of eggs. Um, so I know there's new hatchlings coming out um, every day probably. So I'm kind of debating whether I should take out the juveniles. What do you guys think? Now I never really showed this tub before, but I'm just keeping some platies in here, as well as some um, yellow platinum guppies, which is a pretty nice pond strain from the top. Really eye-catching. I used to keep my um, Fahaka puffer in here, but I've since put him in a tank. I'm not sure what I want to do with this uh, tub long term. For now, I just enjoy these these nice red platies. 